Hello, today we are aboard the MSC Davina to give you a personal tour of this ship and what it has to offer. We'll take you deck by deck, showing you where all the bars, lounges, restaurants, entertainment, and pools are located. So stick around as we take you aboard the MSC Davina. We will start our tour on deck five in the back of the ship at the Black Crab Restaurant and work our way up. The Black Crab Restaurant is one of two main dining rooms on the ship. This restaurant has two levels. The Black Crab Restaurant is open for sit down breakfast as well as dinner. From the Black Crab Restaurant, we will make our way forward to the Davina Bar and Lounge area. There is ample seating at this lounge with large, comfortable couches and chairs. The one thing we really like about MSC ships is all the ample seating. You can see this in the Davina Lounge with all their comfortable couches and chairs. Here on deck five is where you'll find the guest services counter. This is where you will go if you have any issues or any questions you may have. There are actually two guest counters located on each side of the atrium. So if one side is busy, be sure to check the other side. There may not be as long of a line. The last stop on Deck 5 is at the Cyber Cafe, where you can check your email or get online. Just be sure to check for pricing. We begin on Deck 6 in the back of the ship, where we are at the Black Crab Restaurant's second level. Moving forward from the Black Crab Restaurant, we will make our way to the Silver Lounge. Here is where you can book a future MSC cruise, just as we did on this cruise, as well as grab a drink and relax in the comfortable chairs and couches. From the atrium, we will make our way forward down this hallway to the Piazza del Daj Center with Shopping. Piazza del Daj has complimentary treats, cupcakes, and small sandwiches, as well as gelato for an extra cost. There's also a full bar located here. In addition to food and a bar, there's also lots of shopping to do, as you can see here. From Piazza del Daj, we will make our way towards the casino. To the right is where you will see the entrance to the kids' arcade. From the kids' arcade, this door leads you out into the casino area. Here you'll find the standard casino style games such as roulette, slot machines, blackjack, and so on. Continuing forward, we head towards the Pantheon Theater at the front of the ship. The Pantheon Theater holds 1,600 people and is where you will see nightly entertainment. Heading back on the other side of the ship, we will go through the casino again.
There's also a full service bar in the casino. We are now making our way back to the Piazza del Daj and shopping area. On this side of the ship is where you'll also find the cigar lounge. On this side you will also see more shopping including this jewelry store. And then on the right you'll see a mini mall. We're now going to make our way back to the atrium. Next to the atrium is where you'll find the excursion office where you can book excursions during your port stops. And heading back towards the Black Crab restaurant, you'll see more shopping and a small convenience store for odds and ends that you might need or want to pick up. Okay, one thing to note, the Villa Rosa restaurant is also on deck six, but to get there, you have to go up to deck seven and then back down the staircase to get there. We made that mistake the first night. We could not find it, but as you can see, there's no through here. So just to be aware that if you're in the Villa Rosa restaurant, you have to go up to deck seven and then back down to get to the Villa Rosa restaurant. The Villa Rosa restaurant is the other dining room on this ship. It was very busy, as you can see during dinner time. This was our designated dining room for the entire trip. Now we make our way up to deck seven and start in the back of the ship at the black and white lounge. This was a great lounge where there were nightly bands playing as well as music trivia and a captain's welcome party just to name a few of the fun things that took place here. From here, we'll make our way down the hallway to the photo gallery. Here is where you can pick up any photos that you had taken during your cruise. And if we look, Right here we have the Butcher's Cut, which is the one of the specialty restaurants on the Davina. The Butcher's Block restaurant is not part of your standard cruise package and does cost extra. Here's the menu. walk on in here and take a quick look.
Now back to the photo gallery. Here we're in the photo gallery again. And this is the Photoshop where you could pick up spare parts for cameras, uh, internet package, etc. Leaving the photo gallery, we head to La Cantina. La Cantina is open for lunch and dinner and is also the Divina's wine bar and pizza kitchen. This is some seriously excellent pizza and a must try. All right, we are back to the midship where the atrium is. This is a beautiful view from up here. We've got the MSC logo shop where you can pick up various things with the MSC logo on them, such as clothing. They even have a Lego set little teddy bears right next to the atrium and the MSC logo shop is Cafe Italia this is a specialty coffee bar and also has a full bar service and now for the golden bar this is the jazz bar. This is probably one of our favorite bars. We've watched a couple of bands in here play. We had a great bartender in this lounge. It's just the coolest motif. And continuing forward. And we are in the La Luna Lounge. We watched a couple of nice bands in here play the other night. Large bar. And these are the one set of stairs that lit up and those go down to the casino. And making our way forward, we end up in the Pantheon Theater again, only this time on the second level with some great views. And from the Pantheon Theater, we make our way back along the other side of the ship. And first up is once again, the La Luna Bar and Lounge. Another little art area between the La Luna Bar and the Golden Bar. And right off of the Golden Bar is the Sports Bar. The sports bar features a bowling alley, numerous TVs to watch sports, and some food and a full bar.
And we're on the other side of the Cafe Italia coffee bar. Logo shop over there on the other side. This one's perfumes. And once again, the gorgeous diamond staircases. And now we're back to the La Cantina Pizza and Wine Bar and the Butcher's Cut Restaurant. This will end the tour of Deck 7. Decks 8 through 13 are cabins, so we'll start on Deck 14 at the back of the ship at the Calumet and Manitou Buffet. Start off with, you got some cakes. Sweets, donuts. These little breakfast sandwiches are really good. Bagels with egg and cheese on them. Waffles and pancakes. There is a bar in the middle here. There are two bars in the buffet. This is the first one. The other one is towards the back. And you'll see these various stations for coffee and tea and water and milk and so on. As we make our way to the back of the ship, you will see another beverage station. There is also one on the other side of the ship. And there is more seating in the back with great views overlooking the ocean. The side has uh, corned beef, or bacon, scrambled eggs various pastries. More breads and croissants. Some bacon, sausage, eggs, and even like some fried over easy eggs. So this takes care of our brief tour of the buffet area. They do have more breakfast options and we never felt like we ran out of choices for breakfast or lunch. The food generally tasted pretty good in our opinion especially the breads, pizza, and desserts. From here, we'll make our way out to the aqua pool deck. And you'll notice they have a gelato stand here for an extra charge. There's a bar as well as one on the other side of the pool deck. The pool deck features a pool, two hot tubs, and multiple raised decks. From the pool deck, we will make our way into the solarium. There's a full service bar, so you don't have to go far for a drink. The solarium features a pool as well as three hot tubs. And here you will find the MSC pool shop. As we make our way around the other side of the pool, you'll notice some showers that you could use to rinse off after being in the pool or hot tub.
and we'll continue making our way towards the front of the ship. Our last stop on Deck 14 will be at the MSC Aria Spa. The Aria Spa is where you'll find a multitude of different activities to do, including a full fitness center, as well as steam rooms, saunas, and massages. We won't be able to get into all these places, but we'll do our best to show you as much as possible. The fitness room is free to use, however the spa features are an extra cost. And we will head into the fitness area. Check that out. And towels. Pretty nice fitness area. Got your standard machines. So yeah, not a bad place. And then a steam room, lounge area, another sauna and steam room over here. So yeah, real nice. And then they have a bar area where you get smoothies and other drinks. And this completes our tour of Deck 14. Now we're on Deck 15. Here we'll make our way out towards the solarium. This is a great view from above the pool area. Once again, you'll see the three hot tubs along with the pool. There's also seating up on this level.
As we exit the solarium, we'll make our way towards an overview of the pool deck. So once again, a couple hot tubs over here and over here. Pool is kind of deep at about six feet. And then your dance floor, stage area, multiple levels here. It's a pretty nice Lido deck or aqua deck as MSC would probably call it. All right, let's make our way. At the back of the ship is the garden pool area. This is an adults only section of the ship. In the garden pool area, there is a large saltwater pool that kind of feels like an infinity pool with the glass at the back of the boat. And they got a couple of showers up here as well. And a bar. These doors on the right is where we'll make our way inside. Once you enter, you will see that there is a kids club, so let's go check it out. Oh, it's cute in here. In. And then this is where the kids all do their practicing for their dances and so on. From here, we'll make our way up the stairs to deck 16. At the top of these stairs, you'll find a conference room. Here is where the disco is. We had a great time in here during the glow party. And the view out of the windows here is just spectacular. Continuing on, we'll make our way to the Galaxy Restaurant. This is a specialty restaurant that features Japanese cuisine, including sushi, teriyaki, tempura, and other options. Moving on, you'll find another arcade. This is where you'll also find the Formula One simulator. Unfortunately, we could not get in to check it out as the doors were locked.
And now to get out to that deck, we have to go out and around. Okay, we are on the side deck of deck 15. We're gonna head up to back up to deck 16, but just so you could also see here, top 18 is also up that way, which we cannot get into because we are not part of that package. So we'll head on up. And then also for the kids that wanna go down the slide, you would come over here and then go up that staircase and go down the water slide there. And then that's where you go up for top 18. Here on deck 16, you'll find the ball court, which also features a basketball court, soccer, pickleball, and has seating for spectators. As we make our way to the back of the ship, you'll find a couple of hot tubs and more lounge chairs. There's a hot tub on each corner up here. It's not real windy up here at all. Not much for shade, but very, very uh, nice area up here. It's kind of out of the way. There's a shower. And then the other side's a exact duplicate of this side. We really appreciate you watching. To help our new channel grow, please like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell to be notified of all of our new videos that we put out. Thanks for watching.